Hi, welcome to a new video dedicated to a new toy squad capture from Hachi and this is the E70 Mini and is nothing else than the micro quad copter. Each time someone asks me on YouTube or my uh, blog what is the best our uh, first quad copter to enter into the party, I always advise a mini quad copter size. Why? Because first of all you can train indoors okay thanks to the prop guard and more you can have very fun uh, outdoors if the breeze and the wind is not so strong so in my point of view it's the best uh, size to enter into uh, the quadcopter area so let's discover this machine no specific uh, advanced features it's just a basic uh, micro quadcopter and it's a good thing in my point of view so just a six axis stabilized machine i think there is a headless mode but no altitude or all or such kind of I, I would say use less features let's discover this bundle Okay, so let's start with the instruction manual and as you can see, most of elements are in Chinese, just a fraction of is English translated. But anyway, uh, yes, it's very hard to guess all the information you will need. Uh, you have the information about the uh, transmitter. Here you have the most important on the top of it. Uh, you have how to or uh, the role of each button. So mainly all the right trim button are used for trim your uh, trim direction. But the most important I would say is this uh, vertical left trim is to uh, and the bottom one to be more precise is to select uh, the uh, three different speed mode. Okay, if you press on the left stick like this, you will activate the headless mode. Turn on and off it. Okay, why if you press a right click on the uh, sticks, you will uh, actually action um, 360 degrees of flips, uh, automatic flips. Uh, no lot of features as I said previously and I think it's a good thing. So the instruction manual is really poor. Uh, you will have to find somewhere how to calibrate the zeros. Uh, you will have to push a bus stick in outer, lower outer direction. Okay, so um, first bad thing I will say, what you will have a bag with uh, just a few elements, a USB charging cable ending with a micro LED connector. You will have a red power when is uh, charging and turn off in general when it's done. So as you can see, you have to no ind light indication. So it's a really a pity. Uh, okay, so I strongly advise always to use a more advanced and professional uh, charger, especially for one cellular lipo, where the risk of over voltage is much more important. So uh, four spare props, two black and two white. They are 60 millimeters uh, category. Okay, let's prove that. So as you can see, it's uh, they are large enough. I found the pitch is uh, also interesting. Okay, something around 50, 60 millimeters, and the weight of each of them about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 grams. So uh, I found the pitch and the uh, uh, thick of the S1 pretty efficient in my point of view. Okay, so let's continue to discover. We have this one cellular lipo. It's a one silly model, 250 milliamps powers, no discharge rate mentioned, information about the weight, turn around 8.4 gram, and if you need some more precise dimension, if you need some replacement, 32 by millimeters by 20 by, uh, I would say 7.5. Uh, the LiPo enter correctly into the battery tray, uh, we, we see. And I think there is some room enough, okay, at least in length to insert a more larger one. And for example, this type of model, some 380, can be uh, inserted without too much difficulty into the battery tray. Okay, let's just bend a little bit the aluminium. And as you can see, no problem to be inserted. So if you want to extend your flight, why this one weighs about two gram more. So uh, 350 versus 250 for two or three extra gram is really worth it. So this machine is a 95 millimeters model, more or less 90, 90 to be more precise. So it's quite compact and the prop guard is already pre-installed. 
so uh, it's good for beginners but for more outdoors flies or to fight the wind more easily I strongly advise to remove as soon as you feel more more confident so we have some 7 mm motors by 20 not the biggest but this machine is relatively weight let's measure immediately uh, the weight so without the the prop uh, the lipo sorry this machine weights around 32.2 grams and if I had the battery we reach uh, 38.9, a little bit less than 39 grams. It's pretty light, uh, even with the presence of the prop guard. So expect to gain at least three, four, four, five grams without. So I will prefer my demo flight more without the prop guards, okay? And I will give you the exact information about the uh, total weight without. So this uh, uh, machine remind me my one of my first uh, quadcopter when I entered into the party the, it was the GXD 385 I still have it and it, it was just a super flyer so it's reminding a little bit the Epson X4 or such kind of GXD model you have the E72 the plastic is brilliant and the arms are quite flexible so it should handle well a crash and all the electronic is uh, installed on the top of this uh, upper part okay so if you need to extend your range each time I strongly advise to drill a small hole and to install more vertically the antenna okay probably around the middle of the uh, uh, machine 70 logo okay a micro -OS connector and uh, it's pretty easy to disassemble the machine you have one okay two three and one also for each prop guard uh, screw to remove multiply by uh, four and you will have the total number of uh, screws more or less so uh, it's a basic one and what I really like is the different lights you have so um, it's uh, really enjoyable so you have some blue for highs uh, red for front and blue for rear one more time okay and a mixture between red and green for front so uh, give a nice uh, light effect uh, nothing is visible from the bottom side, but for night flights is pretty uh, and some I found so um, Really what I, I like in this machine is uh, the compactness and the, is Especially without the prop guard is very wind uh, resistant in terms of radio. We have a basic model. You will need four uh, AAA battery and rechargeable batteries are working. That's great no specific uh, LCD but just a basic uh, lights and you have to harm by pushing up and down so in terms of radio protocol inside you can find an XN297L I was not able to bind with any existing compatible radio frequency you can find in Division X for example but I will say that this protocol is pretty pretty close of the um, school drawn GW008 in fact innovation technique is bounding but the uh, command are not yet uh, responding so I think it's just a question of time that the small variation difference will be found and will be implemented in the GW008 so you can expect relatively soon a deviation TX hacking for this machine and to enjoy a much more uh, controllable um, radio transmitter but this one is already not bad you can grab it really easily it's adapted for large hand okay so the role as I said this lower button vertical trim is to select one of the three speed mode 2B for intermediate, 3B for expert, and return to beginning mode. If you press on the left stick is headless, one press to turn off headless, and here right stick is to perform 350 uh, degrees of flips. Nothing else, no shoulder buttons at all. Okay, so if you want also to extend the control range of this one, you have the antenna to the 4 gigahertz. Please install it more vertically, maybe drill a small hole, and you will be able to extend uh, much more easily. Uh, the um, control range of uh, the XN297L is the one with a more extended control range so you can probably expect something more than 80 meters and with the antenna mode something around 180 meters is strong is large enough for such kind of model and what I want to perform it's uh, I would say a phase health test is pretty important so what is the behavior when we are losing your radio control the best option is the motor will stop immediately so let's on the machine okay spinning the motor and turn off the radio one two three four five six seven eight 
9, 10, 11, 12, 12 seconds. It's just amazing. You have a huge flyaway potential with this machine. In 12 seconds, in fast forward movement, you can maybe uh, go above 50 meters. Okay, that's very uh, catastrophic in my point of view. So, a huge flyaway problem with this machine. Why, Rachin, you didn't check this? point is pretty pretty important you have to uh the face safe should stop immediately the motors in any circumstance okay so uh i would say this is the main main drawback of this machine anyway we have to uh start and to perform some demo flight i will as i said previously remove the uh, prop guard and give you the information about the weight and uh see how uh, good this machine is for example handling a little breeze okay and what's the best speed you can have First demo fly of the uh, Chin E70 Mini, so a micro mini quadcopter, Upsonics for like or GXZ 385. So I removed the prop guards to enjoy, I would say, a faster machine uh, and should resist also a little bit more in presence of wind. Uh, three speed mode available from this uh, lower uh, vertical trim button. Okay, and uh, let's see how good is this machine. Uh, the total weight without the prop gun is about 33, 35, 4 grams. Okay, so we gain approximately 4.3 grams. It's not really not bad for such kind of this machine. So around 12% uh, of the total weight. So uh, it's not negligible. Let's engage the flight. Okay, so I will connect the micro loading connector. Okay, no power switch, maybe it's a little drawback. And I really like the color, remind me exactly the GXD385, uh, my, one of my favorite six axis stabilized three or four years ago model. Two arm push up and down after. Okay, you have solid light, it's ready to fly. I will start in beginner mode. Okay, wow, well, it's super silent. Let's see the rate mode in beginner rate. Wow, the yo is super slow. Other rates in general are slow. It's super silent machine. Seven mirrors by. Uh, uh, whoa, what's happened? I lose control. Mm -hmm. Strange because I was a very high in close range. I need to perform a calibration, I guess. Okay, I will calibrate the machine by pushing up and down, up in lower extent, outer position. Yes. Two beep. It seems I have I have no control. Look at that. The machine fly away. Wow, what's happened? I have no control, strange. The machine is falling. Wow, seems I don't have any uh, radio control range, so maybe something happened. Okay, we'll uh, disconnect the machine, turn off the radio. Connect everything. Okay, I will calibrate. I should be okay, right? Yes, feel better now. Yes. Seems okay. okay. I don't know what's happened. Yeah, much better right now. Maybe because I've got rechargeable batteries on my radio transmitters, so you don't like so much. So let's see in beginner rate, next intermediate. The yo is uh, correct. I'm positively surprised how silent this machine, but it's not a super powerful. Okay, seven motors maybe, but look, look the maximum punch, not so incredible. And harder recover. Okay, let's engage. Flip. Let's see now the uh, expert mode. Three beep. Wow, we have a crazy yaw rate. So it's not very useful in practice because you you spin too fast and 
Yes, it's impossible to control after a fast forward. But there is no dead, dead band in, well, in the uh, radio control. You can be precise. Wow. Oh. So I would say the more useful rate is the uh, speed mode is the intermediate. Okay, I will return. The yo is more better. It's not a super fast machine. To be honest, uh, my uh, 385 GXZ model, a three or four years old model, is much better. <laughs> but it's silent. No, the control range is good. It could be faster, to be honest. I'm not. Yes. It's a docile machine. Oh, what happened? Okay, I lose control. I lose the connection. Strange, really strange. I'm brown out with the battery when the battery starts to be low. I don't think so. No flashing LEDs. So maybe my radio with rechargeable batteries uh, presents some brownout and the internal voltage regulator is not delivering the uh, correct power to the uh, RF ship, I will see. No, no. Seems I, I lose the, uh, the control, I will have to reboot the machine. It's a really strange behavior, really. So I will turn off everything one more time. Uh -huh. And let's see what's happened. Okay, beginner rate is very slow. So for an Arduin condition, this could be a uh, problematic. Oh, oh my god. Almost lose it. No, the punch are punch out are not impressive. No, no, not a super strong machine. Oh, flips are okay, but can we move flip why moving forward? No. Or backward? No. So definitely the antenna mode should be done and I will uh, do it and restart some new demo with because out of the box the control range seems disappointing despite to be a X197L Oh my god, oh, fly away Okay, so bye bye I won't be able to reuse this machine anymore I lose it in the... in the neighbor's uh, garden.